All right, this is the video we're making for limited paper eight. Uh, some of you guys have been asking me about the framing that I mentioned in the last edition of limited paper. And uh, some of you have also been sending emails asking for pictures of the collection. So I figured this was a really easy, incredibly lazy way for me to get that information across to you without having to upload and attach a shit ton of pictures to an email. So, here we go. This is uh, the stairwell. Um, I'll point out the frames that are Frank's. That thing, that screws and th thing is one of them. It's one and a half inch black wood all the way around, which is, as you can see, pretty much what I use for everything. Uh, some of these are two inch, kind of dependent on the print and the availability of the wood at the time I had them made. This is the uh, Whalen Toy Story. Uh, you can see our giant robotic Transformers ladder, which can take us all the way up to the top of that ceiling, which is 20-something feet below the floor down there. Really dangerous. Uh, either me or my roommate will end up dead one day. Uh, there's the 20,000 Leagues variant, the E.T. variant, uh, Scott Pilgrim. You can see that uh, Edgar Wright personalized that to me. Uh, he calls me the Wampler 9000, and he signed that on Scott's arm there uh, the last time I ran into him. Shining Prince. All of these were picked uh, for the big poster swap barbecue that we're doing over here before Mondo Mystery Movie 10. Um... We've installed black lights into here, and when you flip on the black light in this stairwell after night, these posters light up like a goddamn Roman candle. It's it's pretty awesome. If you haven't experimented with a black light on your posters, really give it a shot. We'll have footage of that uh, in a future limited paper. Uh, all of these are Frank's work as well. The Warriors, the Rob Jones, man with the X -ray, X, the man with X-ray eyes. It's the Thor variant. All of these, all of these look great once you uh, put a black light on them, or without it, for that matter. Uh, down here, the Nightmare on Elm Street is one of Frank's. Uh, let's see, that Monsters Inc. down there on the corner is one of his. Uh, these three bounty hunters by Ken Taylor are Frank's work. Uh, this, by the way, is a commission piece I just had done by an artist named Jeff Barger. I'm a huge fan of uh, Fletch. Um, Jeff is considering putting together a limited screen print edition of this print with some different titles on it. So uh, stay tuned for more on that if you're a fan. Uh, this is a Captain America variant, Iron Giant. It's a little Martin Anson corner. Phantom City Creatives, Nightmare, or, uh, Night of the Living Dead, which you can't really see. I got that off eBay for $125 and then found out it was being sold on the website for $30. Always check the artist's website first. This is Frank's work as well. This is the first Mondo piece I bought. This Jurassic Park this is another one of the Mondo mystery movie prints. I remember being outraged at spending $75 on a poster. Oh, how far we've come. And then in here, you can see my flat files there. Let's see if there's anything else of Frank's in here. I don't think so. Oh, Frank did that Pan's Labyrinth. Let's see. Some signed movies and whatnot over there. Breaking Bad print. The, uh... Best Worst Movie and Spaced. Those are both framed by Frank, I believe. And I think we have one more hiding over here by the booze. A uh, Tim Doyle and Glorious Bastards. And that about does it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And those of you coming to the poster swap on the 4th, I'll see you here soon.